How's it going? Why do we see Thomas the Austrian Papa here? And, well, it has been quite some time since my last video. I'm currently smoking some Connell and Deal small batch Sansal Pokro. Yeah, Sansal Pokro. <laughs> I actually pronounced it right. Surprise, surprise. And I'm smoking it in my 7 L Autograph 3P. And of course I'm drinking something with it. And after a long days, after a long day of work, nice cup of coffee. Freshly made in an old school mocha pot. Still one of the best coffees in my opinion. Because I finally managed to pick up some coffee from a local roastery and well coffee shop. It's just around the corner here. Goldschmidt Cafe. They roast it locally. It's a bio or biological coffee. Uh, Cuba Serrano Superior. Yeah, if you want to read it. Great coffee. They roast it locally and you can order it either in 250 gram packs like I did or in one kilo packs. Of course it's not cheap as you might expect. For this one it's a little bit of a special blend. So 250 grams cost me 9 euros. She gave me a little discount because, well, seems like she liked me and I usually help. I usually hold open the door for people and so on when I go in. Since I enjoyed a few coffees there already. So, gave me a little discount. And, well, if you ask them, they will grind it for you in this big, um, to the specifics that you like or you need, for example, for me, a pretty fine grind for a mocha pot. But you can order it any way you like. I have to relight, sorry for going out of frame, relight my pipe. I'm not so sure what I'm, I should think about the Sunset Pro Crow. It's not a bad blend, but it's not extremely good, in my opinion. I'm really not sure what I should think about it. It's strange. The first time I smoked it, it kind of reminded me of the Toscana Classicos, or the Antiquos. And after I've read, after I've read the description, I noticed the Italian dark fired, and on the back, the it, um, where do we have the description on the back? Aromatically spicy with earth, earthy, clove-like undertones. And that's pretty much what the Toscanas taste to me. The Toscanas are also spicy, earthy and woodsy, so it kind of makes sense that this reminds me of the Toscanas. I will give it a few more tries, and well, I will keep, give some feedback later on if I've made up my mind on what I think about it. I don't know if you can hear the fan in the background. I have my air purifier running pretty much all day because, well, I'm actually not allowed to smoke indoors. And, well, 
they don't have any place to smoke outdoors. So I decided to invest in an air purifier. It's a Winix U300. Does a pretty good job. It can get kind of loud, but I have a remote to control it if I want to keep speed up or down. Currently it's on a pretty silent setting, so I won't be bothered while filming the video while I'm, and while I'm watching a movie. Right now it's James Bond, The Man with the Golden Gun from 19, what was it? Yeah, 1974. Great, great movie. I always love to watch the old James Bond movies. If you're curious about the weird perspective right now, I don't have all the furniture that I need, in my opinion. So the side table besides my couch right now is actually my humidor. So refunction that, but it has the perfect height actually, which is kind of funny. And I've put some plates on there, so stone plates, on top of the humidor. So I can put things down without worrying about any scratches and so on, or damaging the finish. That's also where I have put my coffee currently. Damn, that's good. Talking about repurposing things, my TV is currently put on top of my, well, two of my loudspeakers, so they make up the stand. I have two horn loudspeakers right beside it, oh, or I should call them back-loaded horns, all connected to my stereo with my PC besides it. Oh, maybe show it in a later video depends on my mood and once i've cleaned this place up a little bit more because i'm still in the process of moving in arranging things and so on and you guys know it it's a hassle it's really annoying until you put everything where it belongs have everything acquired that you need and so on it's just really annoying On the upside is, I can do it any way I like, and it's no one's, no one's business how I'm putting things, which is great. So once I finish with this pipe, it will be a Toscano, maybe another cup of coffee. Well, yeah, I'm a coffee addict. At some point I drank around a liter. <laughs> the most I've had was one and a half liters of coffee in one day. Not healthy, but who cares. Back to the smoking topic. I moved in on Monday and well, I couldn't enjoy a cigar or a pipe on Monday because my girlfriend was here with me and I didn't want to put a fruit at because, well, it's a one-room apartment. So my living room is the same as my bedroom, so the, the bed is right behind the camera. And I don't think she enjoys a cold cigar smoke. Or the, smell of cold cigars. Not very pleasant. But yesterday, on Tuesday, she wasn't here. So I took the liberty to finish a bottle of red wine we opened on Monday. I will probably upload a picture on Instagram pretty soon. Still haven't gotten around to upload it. Anyway, 
reopen, finish the red wine bottle and enjoyed a nice premium cigar which was the Perdomo Estate Selection Vintage in a Connecticut and I think it was called the Imperial, that's the size don't ask me about the specifics, don't <laughs> remember it anymore I've looked it up but well made myself comfortable yesterday put the couch back because it's a recliner enjoying a nice glass of wine dark, some dark chocolate a nice cigar I think these ones go for around 24 euros so more than I would normally spend on a single cigar but I got them pretty cheap as you might have seen in my um, Excalibur City tobacco pickup or cigar pickup video and yeah what made it more special yesterday because it was my first day at my new job so new apartment new job well if that's not a reason to celebrate I don't know what it is or don't know what is I will probably bring my pipe, my pipe cabinet as well. I still don't know where I would put it, but that's something I will decide on the spot. And yeah, don't want to keep you any longer. Just want to check in, talk a little bit about what's going on currently and why I'm not really active on YouTube. I, well, I rarely comment anyway, but I don't even get to watch videos now because I don't have an internet connection at my new place. At least for this month, don't know how fast the ISP will be able to come here. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great week and stay safe out there. Take care, happy smoking, and I hopefully see you in another video. Bye, guys.